Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is the eighth video of security testing series, and in this video, we will learn about another vulnerability which is commonly found in applications broken access control. Like we have broken authentication, which is related to the authentication mechanism, broken access control is related to the authorization. Broken access control is top vulnerability as per OS top uh, 10 vulnerabilities of 2021. So without further delay, let's get started. You must have came across different applications offering various memberships. For example, we have Netflix, then we have Hotstar. They offer different subscriptions and based on the subscription, the features or the content you are allowed to watch varies. Now here what they have done is different access controls are implemented. Basic user can do XYZ things. Premium user can also do what basic user can do, but in addition to that, they can also perform some additional things. And similarly, we have ultra premium users who will be getting some more benefits. Now, there can be multiple basic users. Suppose one basic user can update the profile of another basic user. Now, there's a breach in access control because how can one user update a profile of another user? or view the information which some user have marked as private for example if i have marked some information in my profile as private and somehow you are able to view it then there is a breach of access control like my confidentiality my that confidential data is getting leaked out so if this happens then we call it horizontal privilege escalation similarly uh, if we have a basic user who is able to view the content which is only restricted for a premium user, then again it's a breach of access control and we call it vertical privilege escalation. So we can say that if a user is able to perform or take action on behalf of another user at the same level or having the same level of privileges, then it is called horizontal privilege escalation. And if they are able to perform or take action on behalf of another user, who is having higher privileges then it is called vertical privilege escalation irrespective of the fact if it's horizontal or vertical privilege escalation both of these are examples of broken access control let's see one basic example of this vulnerability so over here we have an application and we can log into this application so i'll just click on my account and i will provide my credentials over here my username is wiener and the Password is Peter. Now there exists an admin user and I want to escalate my privileges or log in as an admin user. But I don't know the credentials of admin user. So how can I escalate my privileges and become an admin user? So this is my motive. While testing an application, you should set a motive. For example, if you are logged in as a basic user, your objective should be to perform any action that is restricted only for the higher privilege user or take any action on behalf of another user. So I'll just log out and I'll again go to my accounts page, turn on the interceptor, provide my username and password, login. During login, just notice this thing, this cookie. It says admin is equal to false. But what if I change this value to true? Let's forward this request. Okay, we again got admin is equal to false. We will again change the value. And we were finally able to log in as admin because we can see this admin panel. Earlier, we were not able to see this. I mean, we are logged in as Wiener user, but we have escalated our privileges and we have become an admin user. Notice this thing. This again says admin is equal to false. And we will have to do this again and again. So there is a way you can save yourself from repeating this action. Just copy the entire thing. Go to options tab under proxy tab over here and scroll down a bit and you will observe match and replace. So just click on add 
paste the copied value over here okay and then and it's admin is equal to true so basically what we are in instructing the verb suit is to find this value in the request in the request header there are different values over over there are different options that we can select from here we have a request body request header response body request param name param value and so on so we are instructing the verb suit that find this value and whenever you find it just replace it with this value okay just click on ok go back to intercept tab change this value manually and now click on forward button okay if i go to my accounts page you can see that automatically it changed the value from admin is equal to false to admin is equal to true click on forward again you can see admin is equal to true forward now let's go to this admin panel okay admin is equal to true fine and admin is equal to true again now we can safely turn off the interceptor because we know our uh, changes are working fine now we have got a list of two users carlos and Wiener. so let's try and delete this user And since we got a message that the user deleted successfully, this means we were successfully able to perform an action which is only restricted for the admin user. So this was a case of vertical privilege escalation in which a basic user can become an admin by simply replacing the value in the cookie parameter that is admin is equal to false to admin is equal to true. We can save ourselves from such vulnerabilities by making use of authorization token however simply using the authorization token is not enough we will find out why so let's understand it better with an example from one of the applications which i tested so the application had multiple teams each team had their own admin and its members so data of a particular team is only accessible by the members of the team and any detail of the team can only be managed by the respective admins now to better manage the authorization or access controls that is to restrict a member from updating the team details they were using an authorization token however just using the authorization token was not enough let's see why here i intercepted the request where the admin of say team pen test one is updating the team name observe that i have team guid which is the identifier of the team which is being updated Simply changing this value allowed me to change the name of another team. This happened because the backend of the application did check whether the requester is admin or not, but it did not check if they are the admin of the team for which they are trying to update a team name, even though the admin is involved. But this is the case of horizontal privilege escalation because one admin is able to act on behalf of another admin. It is not like the case that a member is able to update a team name, like it's not the case. Only an admin is able to uh, update a team name, but they are able to update another uh, team's name. So that's why it is still horizontal privilege escalation. Now moving on to another type of vulnerability that falls under the category of broken access control. It's called IDOR or Insecure Direct Object Reference. It is a type of access control vulnerability that arises when an application uses user supplied input to access objects directly. So what do we mean by objects? For example, if uh, there's a request to fetch user address, like using the address ID, this address ID is the identifier for address. Now, this in this case, address is our object. For example, if we talk about user profiles, then user profile becomes an object and profile ID becomes its identifier. So, if uh, a user is providing a profile ID and the application is catering to that request without validating whether that particular user is allowed to view that profile or not then it is a case of insecure direct object reference now this id could be a url parameter like like we have in get request or it could be a particular parameter in the post request as well so let me share another example of an e-commerce application where i encountered this vulnerability so in this particular case, if you observe that in the get request, it's a get request and I have uh, 
Because don't look at this particular parameter. Guess is equal to false. We have one one seven nine three six. So I have specified a ID, and this is the address ID. And whatever address ID is pro I am providing, I am able to access the address associated with that particular ID. Now what happened? I simply change this ID. So one interesting thing over here was this address ID is numerical. It's simply incremental in like incremental in nature. Like if we have a one one seven nine three six as my address ID, then probably there is some other user whose ID is one one seven nine three five one one seven nine three four one one seven nine three eight three nine and so on. So by simply changing the address ID, I was able to view the address of other users. Now, if you observe any such thing while you are testing your application, and if you observe any ID. Just try to like increment or decrement that particular number and see if you are able to access the information or the object related to that particular ID. Now, how can we remediate it? First of all, there must be authorization token you they were already using, but it was not being properly validated at the server side. The server must analyze what is being requested and if the user is authorized to access that resource or object or data which is being requested. If yes, then only server must cater to the request, else it must reject the request. Okay, I'll tell you another way of finding. Okay, there are many ways you can find broken access control or access control related vulnerabilities, but I can only cover few few of them in my videos. So there's a third way also of finding access control related vulnerabilities, and let's see how to do that. So here we have two requests in front of you. Just pause this video for a while, observe these requests, and try to think what these requests are doing. Okay. One of the request is a get request, and we are trying to view a particular user's profile, probably whose ID is one two three. And another one is a post request where we are trying to delete a user or a user's profile whose ID is one two three. Now, if we talk from a business point of view or application logic, then usually any normal user is not allowed to delete another user. I mean. They might be allowed to view the profile of another users, but they are not allowed to delete another user until and unless they have got the privileges or they are the admins. So what we have to see or observe in our applications while testing it, if we have a similar feature where a user is allowed to view your profile of another user or view uh, the listing of users or something like that, then we have to check if they are allowed to delete them that user also or not if they are not then our objective must become somehow to make that user delete another user so this is what we are doing over here we okay what do you need to do is if you just log in with a normal user in in browser and uh, log in with an admin user in probably in incognito mode or in some other browser but make sure you are able to capture the traffic of both the browsers from your burp suit so you can use the uh, firefox i have already like uh, covered how you can uh, configure firefox to work with burp suit or you can use the inbuilt browser which is there in the burp suit so two browsers now you have and you can like use them for this particular scenario log in as a normal user in one of the browser and uh, uh, intercept this particular request where you are viewing the profile or just intercept any request Okay, we just need what what we are concerned about is the authorization token of a normal user. Now log in as a admin user in another browser and capture the request where the user is being deleted, and replace the authorization token of admin with that of a normal user. Now after you have replaced the authorization token with that of a normal user, now forward that request. And if there is any other subsequent request which is also related to the delete operation, then replace the normal users token in that request as well okay if after like forwarding all the relevant requests if you are able to delete a user using the token of a normal user then there is vertical privilege escalation in that particular application because by using the normal users authorization token you are able to delete another user if we talk from the application's point of view a normal user was sending request to delete a user and the application deleted it so by replacing the tokens also you can find out broken access control vulnerabilities so when you are testing your application just familiarize yourself with it and observe the requests and its responses try to fiddle with certain parameters 
uh, with an objective of performing an action on behalf of another user. So this is what, what all you have to do in order to find the broken access control vulnerabilities. That's all in this video. I hope you found this video interesting. Comment below and let me know. I will be back with more interesting videos explaining different vulnerabilities. Till then, goodbye and happy learning.